Russia intends to deploy offensive missiles within striking distance of Western Europe if the United States fulfills its promise to deploy a similar capability in Germany in 2026, Russian President Vladimir Putin said during celebrations to mark Russian Navy Day defense news reports. He said Russia would take mirror measures to deploy the weapons which can carry nuclear warheads, taking into account the actions of the United States, its satellites in Europe and other regions of the world. Putin added that American plans to deploy medium-range missiles in Germany pose a threat to Russia. The flight time to targets on our territory for such missiles, which in the future could be equipped with nuclear warheads, will be about 10 minutes, the dictator emphasized. Defense News recalled that on July the 10th, the White House said the U.S. plans to begin episodic deployment of conventional missiles in Germany in 2026. The statement said that these long-range conventional fires will include the SM-6, Tomahawk and hypersonic weapons under development that have significantly greater range than current land-based fires in Europe. Nikolai Sokov, a senior fellow at the Vienna Center for Disarmament and Non-Proliferation Studies, who studies Russian missiles and arms control, said it was unclear exactly what missiles Moscow would try to use or deploy. He added that the land-based caliber was an obvious choice, stressing that it would be easy to develop and test before 2026. In addition, increasing the range of the Iskander or reviving the suspended Rubez project could be on the agenda. The publication emphasizes that Iskander missiles are already deployed in Kaliningrad and Belarus, while longer-range systems could be located deep inside Russian territory, which would increase the early warning time on both sides. There is also a cruise missile, the 9M729, which the US believes was fielded in the 2010s. Michael Ditzman, a research fellow at the James Martin Center for Non-Proliferation Studies in California, said in an email to Defense News. According to him, Putin, in his Sunday speech, mentioned coastal troops, which could include coastal artillery. The Russian military has used two of these systems, Bal and Bastion, to strike land targets in Ukraine. With the Onyx-M missiles, the Bastion unit based in Kaliningrad could hypothetically strike all of Poland in addition to its anti-ship mission, the expert believes. Earlier, the German publication NTV, citing a statement from the federal government, wrote that Russian threats against Washington and Berlin regarding the deployment of long-range weapons will not lead to a change in plans. We will not allow ourselves to be frightened by such statements, stressed a representative of the German Federal Foreign Office. According to him, Russia has been arming itself for years and waging a war of conquest in Europe against Ukraine, so Germany must respond to this. A large fire broke out in Rome on a hill near the Italian capital's Court of Justice and a public TV broadcasting center, forcing the evacuation of several buildings and offices, firefighters said. The alarm was raised when the flames broke out on the slopes of the hill and at the end of the nature reserve, causing the first teams of firefighters and civil protection to rush to the Piazzale Clodio area. The gravity of the situation soon also required the intervention of air vehicles, two helicopters, one from the firefighters, the other from the civil protection of the Lazio region, thus began to launch retardant liquid to keep the fire under control which, driven by the wind and favored by the high temperatures, soon spread, producing smoke so dense as to force the evacuation of residential buildings, commercial activities, even the Trianfail Carabinieri Company. Offices of the Italian public broadcaster Rai and several residential buildings have been evacuated due to a large fire on the Monte Mario Hill in Rome. The fire broke out on the slopes of the hill in northwest Rome, the fire department announced. According to the ANSA news agency, the evacuation of the Rai offices meant that the recording of some broadcasts and programs had to be suspended. Surrounding streets had to be closed due to the fire and the heavy smoke, which caused considerable traffic problems. Several parked cars in nearby neighborhoods caught fire. Pictures and videos from the fire department showed a thick column of smoke rising into the sky, which could still be clearly seen from afar. The authorities called for windows to be closed due to the smoke. 